During the storm, you want to find a safe place indoors. Find an interior room, hallway, or closet. And make sure you don't go outside during the storm due to dangers such as falling debris or wind-blown debris. So it's important to keep all family members away from any dangers after the storm. If someone is injured, it's important you call 911 right away. Generators are extremely useful after a storm, but it's very important to know that with carbon monoxide poisoning and possible electrocution, it can be very dangerous. So don't hook your generators up to your house so it backflows back to the utility provider. It is extremely dangerous. Well, we have hurricane managers who are assigned throughout the department and they really prepare annually. They review the policies and procedures regularly to make sure every member of the police department, both sworn and non-sworn, are familiar with the policy and know what to do in case we are hit with the hurricane. Well, the city prepares year-round and we're a storm-ready community, but it's important that our residents also be equally prepared. Uh, today we conducted a uh, discussion on disaster preparedness here with the executive policy group and senior staff from the city. Um, the intent was to, over, to provide an overview and familiarize city staffer, key staffers, on what are the duty responsibility, what does the comprehensive emergency management plan says on how we're going to respond to a major incident. Prepare early. Do the preparation before the storm hits. Look at your, you know, survey the resources that you have at your home. Make sure you have a plan for your family in case you're separated. Have a meeting place. I would encourage people to visit the City of Orlando website. And click on emergency preparedness and it will take you to step by step on how to prepare for any type of disaster if you live here in Orlando.